In the previous two lectures, we saw how you can use Vuex and the global provide and plugins mounting options to be able to use a Vuex plugin with your components in the composition API. I'd like to show you how to do the same thing using the options API and then show you how we can alternatively mock some things using the options API as well. So the first thing we're going to do is revert this to use a real Vuex store. I'm going to say const store is equal to create Vuex store and then we're going to pass it into the global plugins. So I'm going to put plugins here with an array and if we save this one off, everything should hopefully still be passing and so it is. Next thing we're going to do now is convert our component to be an options API component and see how everything should continue to work. So what I'm going to do is jump over here and convert this one now. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a computed properties key and in here we're going to have our count and that one's just going to return the correct count. And if you use the options API, you know we can say this.store to access the store and grab the count like this and we're going to return it here. The next thing we're going to need to do is put our increment method here and that's going to allow us to increase the count and all we're going to do is call our commit. So I'm going to move this one up into our increment method and just say this.store and that should all be working. I'm now going to go ahead and delete my setup function because we don't need that one anymore. We're not using it. And let's go ahead, save this one off. And with a bit of luck, everything should hopefully still be passing. And so it is, everything is still passing. Just to prove it, I'm going to comment this out and everything should be failing and it certainly is. So our refactor was successful and our test gave us confidence that everything was still working. So it is very easy to use a real Vuex store with your tests. However, there are some instances where you might like to not use a real instance and you'd like to mock something. A common example of this is something like view router, which is much more difficult to set up. You need to have all the correct routes and parameters to test certain things. So what I'm going to do is illustrate that here. Let's say we had a post ID parameter and we'd like to render that in our component. I'm going to use a computed property here. And traditionally what you would do is something like return this dot routes to grab access to the route and then you would grab the parameters and grab the post ID, for example. Let's jump up here and render it as well. So I'm going to create a new div here and just say post ID, and that one's going to be equal to post ID, which is a computed property. And this, of course, is going to fail. Let's save it off and see what happens. Everything is failing because we cannot find params of undefined, and that, of course, is because we haven't got a router installed. Let's go ahead and see how we can work around this. The first thing we're going to do is jump down here and write a test for that one. So inside of here, we're not going to be incrementing anymore. We're just going to expect the wrapper to contain post ID of let's just say one for now. And if we save this off, of course, everything is still failing. One option would be to create a real router, then pass it into the plugins options or the plugins array. However, that's quite a bit of work. What instead I'm going to do is use another global mounting option. And that one is going to be mocks. And this is going to allow us to provide a mock value on the default uh, constructor, the global view instance. So what I'm going to do is mock the route key by passing in route here. Then we're going to pass in params. And finally, we're going to create a post ID in here. And I'm just going to make that one equal to one. Let's save this one off. And our error should be gone. and Everything is now passing. Just to illustrate this, I'm going to make it fail. And of course, everything is still passing. That's because we're asserting that post ID one exists. Let's go ahead and make this one two. And everything is now going to fail. We're getting post ID of two when it should be a post ID of one. So this is a very convenient alternative to mocking things when you're using the options API and you need to mock something attached to the global instance. The most common examples of this are going to be store and router or router. And finally, one other one I've often encountered is going to be T, which is the view Inter internationalization API.